When Caesar did in Chicago, he was a graceful child. Those sacred chickens just raised the dickens, the vestry over into wild. Then when the nervy got nervy, he gave them an awful rest. They shook in their shoes at the consular blues, the imperial Roman jazz. La 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 da da la la. Oh! Excuse me, I didn't know you were in here. Oh, hello. I'm giving a little concert. Well, uh, why didn't you lock the door? Didn't I? No. Do you think I just walked through it? Oh, I thought you picked the lock, dears. You are so careless. No, I'm as happy as a garbage man's dog and I'm giving a little concert. Well, could you hurry up? Can't be hurried. This is my kingdom at present, godliness. Why the mellow name? Because you're next to cleanliness. Don't throw anything, please. How long will you be? Um, no less than 15 nor more than 25 minutes. Well, as a favor to me, could you make it 10? Oh, godliness, do you remember a day in the chill of last January when one duly famous for her Easter rabbit smile was going out and there was scarcely any hot water? And then she filled the tub for herself, which the wicked sister did bathe herself in, forcing young Julie to finish her ablutions with cold cream, which is expensive and a darn lot of trouble. Then you won't hurry. Why should I? I have a date. A date? Here? At the house? None of your business. So be it. Oh, for heaven's sake, yes. I have a date here at the house. In a way. In a way? He's not coming in. He's calling for me and we're walking. Oh, the plot clears. It's that literary Mr. Calkins, isn't it? I thought Mother told you not to invite him in. Oh, she's so idiotic. She detests him because he's just got a divorce. Of course, she's had more experience than I have, but- Don't let her fool you. Experience is the biggest gold brick in the world. All older people have it for sale. Well, I like him. We talk literature. Oh, that's why I've noticed so many weighty books around. He lends them to me. Well, you've got to play his game. When in Rome, do as the Romans would like to do. I'm through with books. Uh, I'm all educated. You're so inconsistent. Last summer you read every day. If I were consistent, I would still be drinking warm milk out of a bottle. Yes, and probably my bottle. But I like Mr. Calkins. I never met him. Well, will you hurry up? <sighs> yes, I'll wait until the water gets tepid, then I'll let in more hot. How interesting. Do you remember Sobo? Yes, and ten years old. I'm really quite surprised you don't play it still. Oh, I do. I'm going to in a minute. Silly game. No, it isn't. I bet you'd just forgotten how to play it. I have not. You, you fill the tub all full of soap suds, and then you get up on the edge and slide down. Oh, that's only part of it. You have to do it all without touching your hands or feet. Oh, what do I care? I wish we'd either stop coming here in the summer or get a house with two bathtubs. No, you can get yourself a little tin one or use the hose. Oh, shut up! Oh, leave the towel. What? Leave the towel when you go. This towel? Yes, I forgot my towel. Why? You idiot, you haven't even a kimono. Why, so I haven't. How did you get here? I guess, I guess I whisked here. You know, a white form whisking down the stairs and... Why, you little wretch, haven't you any pride or self-respect? Oh, lots of both, I think that proves it. I look really well. I'm quite cute in my natural state. Well, you... I suppose I should have been, you know, a native or a pagan or something. I really like clothes. You're, you're a, uh, last night I had a dream that 
One Sunday at church, a little boy had a magnet that attracted cloth. He attracted the clothes right off of everybody. Everybody was shrieking and crying, carrying on as if they had just seen their skins for the first time. Only I didn't care. I just had to pass the collection plate because nobody else would. Do you mean to tell me that if I hadn't come, you would have gone back to your room un unclothed? Oh, natural is so much nicer. Oh, suppose there had been someone in the living room. There hasn't been yet. Yet! Good grief! How long? Besides, I normally have a towel. Golly, you ought to be spanked. I hope you get caught. I hope that when you come out, there's a dozen ministers in the living room. And their wives. And their daughters. There wouldn't be room, answered Clean Kate from the laundry district. Fine. You've made your bathtub. You can lie in it. Hey, hey, I don't care about no kimono, but please at least leave the towel. I can't dry myself off on soap suds and a wet wash rag. I won't humor such a creature. You're going to have to dry off the best way you know how. Why, you can roll around on the floor like the animals that don't wear any clothes do. Animals? Fine, get out! Huh. Uh, hello? Are you a plumber? Are you the water department? What do you want? I believe you're a ghost, are you? Look, if you're a plumber, this is a mean trick. Turn the water on for a fellow. Don't argue, I want water. Water. Water! Is someone fancy? Oh, jumping cats! Water's no good for fits. <clears throat> Who said anything about fits? Well, you said something about a cat jumping. Uh, no, I didn't. Well, whatever. We can talk it over later. Are you ready to go out, or do you still feel that if you go out with me just now, everybody will gossip? Gossip? Would they? It would be more than gossip. It would be a regular scandal. Here, you're towing it a little strong. I mean, your family, they might be somewhat disgruntled, but to the pure, all things are suggestive. So come on. You don't know what you ask. Do you imagine we'd have, I don't know, a crowd following us? A crowd? There would be a special all-steel buffet train leaving New York hourly. <laughs> Say, our... Are you house cleaning? Uh, why? Well, I, I see all the pictures are off the walls. Oh, there has never been pictures in here. That's strange. I've never heard of a room without pictures or paneling or tapestry or, or something. Why, there isn't even furniture in here. What a strange house. Depends on the way you look at it. You know, it's... It's kind of nice talking to you like this, when you're merely a voice. I'm rather glad I can't see you. Yeah, me too. So, what are you wearing? Um, <clears throat> I, I guess it's a, I guess it's sort of a pinkish white. Is it becoming to you? Very, I've had it a long while. But I thought you hated old clothes. I do, but this is a birthday present, so I sort of have to wear it. Hmm, uh, pinkish white. Well, I bet it's divine. Is it in style? Very. Quite simple, standard model. Oh, what a, what a voice you have. How, how it echoes. Sometimes I, I seem to close my eyes and see you standing there. Far out in a desert surf. And as I plunge towards the surf, water stretching on both sides of you as you fall. I, uh, what was that? Did oh. I dream it? Yes, I, you're quite the poet, aren't you? No, I, I do prose. I only verse, but only when I am stirred. Stirred by a spoon. You know, I've always loved poetry. I can remember this day, the very first poem I learned by heart. 
It was Evangeline. That's a fib. Uh, did I say Evangeline? I meant to say the skeleton in armor. I'm a low brow, but I can still remember my very first poem. It had one verse. Parker and Davis sitting on a fence, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Are you growing fond of literature? I like it when it's not too ancient, complicated, or depressing. Just like I like people. Not too ancient, complicated, or depressing. You know, I've, I've read enormously. I remember just yesterday you were telling me you were growing fond of Walter Scott. Oh, Scott! Yes, I've read, uh... Ivanhoe in the Battle of the Mohicans. Isn't isn't that my Cooper? Uh, what? You're crazy! Ivanhoe is. Uh, I guess I should know. I've read it. No, the Battle of the Mohicans is my Cooper. Oh, oh! What do I care? I like O. Henry, anyways. You know, I don't even understand how he wrote all those plays or books. You know, he wrote most of them in prison. The Ballad of the Reading Gaul he made up in prison. Oh, literature, literature. How much it is meant to me. Well, just like Galby Desley said to Mr. Bergerson, with my lips in your brains, there's nothing we can do. You know, you, you sure are hard to keep up with. One day, you're super pleasant. Oh, so you're one of those amateur character readers. Size someone up in five minutes and act like you know them when they're mentioned. I hate that sort of thing. No, 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 no. I don't boast of sizing you up. You're quite mysterious. I'll admit it. There's only two mysterious people in history. The man with the iron mask and the man that says, oh, blah, 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 when the lion is busy. Wow. You are mysterious. I love you. You're, you're beautiful, intelligent, and virtuous. That's the rarest combination. <laughs> uh, you're a historian, right? Uh, what do they say about bathtubs in history? They're frightfully neglected. Uh, bathtubs. Let's see. Uh, Agamemnon, he was stabbed in his bathtub, and uh, Charlotte Corday stabbed Marat in his bathtub. Way back there. Nothing new but the sun, is there? Why, only yesterday I went to the store and I bought an old comedy musical score. Right there on the cover, it said the shimmies of Normandy. Except shimmies was spelled the old way with a C. Oh, how I loathe these modern dances. Lois, come to the window. I, I wish to see you now. What on earth was that? Uh, I heard it too. It sounded like running water. Oh, uh, didn't it? Strange, like it, uh... Actually, I was just filling up the, the, the goldfish bowl. Huh. Lois, I, I love you. Now, I'm not a mundane man, but I am a forger. Oh, how interesting. A forger ahead. Lois, I, I, I want you. <laughs> what you want is for the whole world to stand in attention until you give rest. Lois, I... Lois, I... Mr. Calkins! Oh my god, I'll be right in. And on that note, I'll be right out.